Drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just been living off of the bankroll. Had a saying go, got it flooded to my ankles. Need a raincoat, pair of boots, and a dang boat. What's going on, D5 Rebels? They're here back for another Learn to TA video. This is a series. This is part 14. We're talking about leverage, risk, risk management. We're going to be talking about, you know, percentage of gain needed to recover a loss, which is exponentially higher, right? So percentages can be misleading. Uh, we should note that a percentage loss followed by the same percentage win does not get you back to the same point. So if you lose 50% of your portfolio, for example, you need a 100% win to make that up. And it just exponentially compounds and pretty soon your mood changes, things start going out the window and pretty soon you blow up a trading account. Happens, happens to the best of us, happened to the best of us, I should say, you know, when we're first starting out. So we're talking about uh, using win rates, win rate limitations, talking about, um, you know, day trading, swing trading, you know, stop losses, all that stuff. It's gonna be a quick video. I don't wanna spend too much time on this. I wanna get my point across. And that's it. And then you're going to kind of dive into this stuff a little bit deeper. Risk to reward ratio, right? So if your stop loss is at 5% and your target is 15% profit, your risk to reward would be one to three, meaning that the potential profit is three times higher than the potential risk. So all this stuff comes into play. All this stuff matters. Really, when you're first starting out, you have no business using 20 times, 10 times leverage. You should be five and under five, one to five, really, till you can win. Till your batting average is up there with the best of them. You have no business using high leverage. That's what we're talking about today. That's what we're getting into. Expand description, start a video one in this series if you're just finding us. If not, buckle up. 10, 20 minute video I'm gonna try to keep this at. Like, comment, subscribe, helps us out. Trading an MEXC Global, scan the code. Link in the description below. But let's jump into it. Let's help you guys out. Let's just break down win rate real quick. So. And um, there's win rate and win loss ratio. So let's just throw some examples out here, right? So if you have 20 trades, you win 12, you lose eight. Your win loss ratio would be 1.5, 12 over eight. Your win rate, however, will be 60%, 12 over 20 by 100, right? However, as our previous example, having a win loss ratio greater than one, it doesn't guarantee success. There's limitations. So a high win rate doesn't always mean you're going to be profitable, right? Being profitable depends on other factors, one of which can be the risk reward ratio. Even if you have a high percentage win rate, you may still be unprofitable if your stop losses are too large. This in effect negates the smaller wins. The opposite is also possible. So using win rate, right? So traders often can tell their win rate from previous activity, pull it up, pull up your year to date PL, pull up your position history, on whatever exchange you use, hopefully it's MEXC Global with us. For traders who have a high win ratio, their risk reward ratio can be lower to break even. For traders with a low win ratio, their risk reward must be higher to break even. What I will tell you though, starting off, you need to focus on that first one. Starting off, you need to focus on your win rate. That should be your number one goal. Everything else doesn't matter when you're first starting off. You can adjust your strategies as you start winning more trades. But when you're first starting to learn how to TA, you need to learn how to gauge the market. You need to figure out which way we're going. So win rate is number one. Nothing else matters when you're first starting off, right? Because if you're not winning as many trades, you are not seeing something. Something is off. You're not reading the market. You're, you're entering into your positions wrong. So I want to stress this. I want to, I want, I want this to be your number one focus is get your win rate up, get your batting average up. If you know, my Minnesota twins are playing we need to throw in a pinch hitter and we throw in someone who's got a, a 0.1 batting average. I'm going to be like, what the F is going on? I want that 0 0.3, 0 0.350 hitter out there smacking a home run, right? That's what we're talking about here. So use your win rate right? Once you get that win, win rate up, you know, Hey, I can gauge the market. You're confident. You're finding confluence. You're drawing your trend lines. You're doing all the stuff we've been talking about in this series. Then you can start to look at, um, having higher risk activities, right? Then you can start to venture into more high risk, high reward situations. You can use higher leverage. 
right? Because your stop losses are 5%, your target is 15%, right? So you can lose a couple times in a row, hit that third one and boom, you're off to the races, right? So it, it gets a little bit different when you're using higher risk. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If not, rewind and watch what I'm explaining or read what's on the screen. But hope that makes sense. So let's quickly recap where we're at. We know that the percentage gain needed to recover a loss exponentially grows, right? You lose 10%, you need 11% win. You lose 50%, you need 100% win. And this all compounds. It spins out of control and pretty soon you blow up an account, right? We know what win rate is and what the win rate loss ratio is and how to do the math to figure those out based on your p l off your position history which is found on every single exchange you can check that out for yourself we know what the risk to reward ratio is so if your stop loss is at five percent your target is 15 percent on what that is and what that means for you right and really this shouldn't be of any concern to you until your win rate is high you when you're first starting out you need to get that up right that's your focus you're not going to be a millionaire in the first year two years maybe even maybe who knows um, of trading, uh, you know, it's going to take a bit. You're going to have to crawl before you can walk. And if you're just starting off and you're using 20 times the leverage, you're going to fail. It's just, it's just facts. It's basic math. I guarantee you a lot of you watching this right now have a 20%, 30% win rate and you're using 20 times the leverage. I don't know why the math says you're doing it wrong. The math says that you're going to lose that money. So I'll focus on win rate one, two, three, four, five times leverage what you should be using so you can see i'm in a trade here 20 times short on bitcoin about 30 grand profit right now 120 20 122 percent right i'm comfortable using 20 times if you don't have a high win rate you should not be comfortable using 20 times because that means you're losing you're just going to lose that money quicker as we've talked about numerous times now i'm trying to cement that home you are not going to be a millionaire tomorrow six months from now you know, I hope you are, I really do, but chances are slim. If this was easy, everyone would be doing it. No one would be going and getting a doctorate, right? They would just be sitting at home crypto trading all day long. So you need to get your wins up. You need to focus on that. And how do you practice more by having more trades? How do you have more trades? By using less leverage. You're just gonna, if your win rate is under 50%, I guarantee you most of yours is, I hate to say, otherwise you'll be watching this video, you need to trade with five times and under leverage. You need to use non-volatile coins. You need to trade Bitcoin like I am here. There's no reason to be trading super volatile coins. You're just gonna get scam wicked out of them. Learn how to TA, make a plan, get a routine down and stick to that. When you can do all of that stuff, when you can stick to your plan, when you can do TA, find entries, have a high win rate, then you can start deviating and adjusting and, and taking on some higher risk positions, right? Until then, stop. Stop using high leverage. Stop trading super wiki coins. Trade the top 10, top 20 tokens, and that's it. Use five times leverage and under. If you wanna be successful, that's what you need to do. You need to focus on winning. Then you can adjust. So you can see I'm in a trade here, 20 times short on Bitcoin, about 30 grand profit right now, 120, 20, 122%, right? I'm comfortable using 20 times. If you don't have a high win rate, you should not be comfortable using 20 times because that means you're losing. You're just gonna lose that money quicker as we've talked about numerous times now. I'm trying to cement that home. You are not gonna be a millionaire tomorrow, six months from now, you know? I hope you are. I really do. But chances are slim. If this was easy, everyone would be doing it. No one would be going and getting a doctorate, right? They would just be sitting at home crypto trading all day long. So you need to get your wins up. You need to focus on that. And how do you practice more by having more trades? How do you have more trades? By using less leverage. You're just going to, if your win rate is under 50%, I guarantee you most of yours is. I hate to say, otherwise you will be watching this video you need to trade with five times and under leverage. You need to use non-volatile coins. You need to trade Bitcoin like I am here. There's no reason to be trading super volatile coins. You're just gonna get scam wicked out of them. Learn how to TA, make a plan, get a routine down and stick to that. When you can do all of that stuff, 
when you can stick to your plan, when you can do TA, find entries, have a high win rate, then you can start deviating and adjusting and, and taking on some higher risk positions, right? Until then, stop. Stop using high leverage. Stop trading super wiki coins. Trade the top 10, top 20 tokens, and that's it. Use five times leverage and under. If you want to be successful, that's what you need to do. You need to focus on winning. Then you can adjust. So make a plan. Stick to it. Whatever your trading strategy is, stick to it. I would advise not trading during your working hours. I would advise setting some few hours every night, right? Go to work, do your nine to five, because that's what's important. That's what's getting the, the bills paid, the wife taken care of, and the kids taken care of, right? Get home, help her out with dinner, whatever you do, do that. Put the kids to bed, sit down at the computer, and then trade. Learn, learn as much as you can every single night to push yourself forward, right? Whatever your, your trading strategy is, if it's, um, you know, drawing, whatever it is, stick to it. So when you deviate, you lose, as we talked about in the last video. I also don't know too many successful traders who trade from their phone. How can you TA? How can you properly TA from your mobile phone? You can't. So if you're trading from your mobile phone, that leads me to believe you probably have a sub 50% win rate. Prove me wrong. Just put a link down below. Let me know but it's, it's impossible to do proper technical analysis on a phone. It just is. I don't know any successful trader who trades from their phone. I just don't. So why are you? If, if, if everyone else, if all the professional traders who are making money are setting aside time every single day to sit in front of their computer, to chart, to find entries, to figure out which way the market's going, to find support, to find resistance, to draw your trend lines, to find entries, why are you just hopping into place from your phone? Maybe it's successful for you, but prove it. Put up or shut up. Show me. Show me it is. If not, hollow out time every night. Sit down. Maybe it's from 10 to midnight. Maybe it's from 9, 8 to midnight, whatever it is, to 11. Um, do it. Sit down. I know it's, I know it's not fun. I, I get it. You know, everything's hard. Hard work pays off. It does. But stick to the script. Figure out what your win rate ratio is. Use low leverage. Stop trading volatile coins and learn. That's what this time is for, is to learn, is to get your, get your plan, write it down, stick to the script. It's kind of it. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. It's up to you to want to believe it or not. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good, right? I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know everything. Sure. There's going to be outliers. There always is in any situation in any statistic, there's always the outliers, right? But stick to the script, carve out time at night. At the end of the day, do you, you can learn this stuff the hard way, no problem. But, uh, crypto is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It never rests. There's the Asian hours, American hours, European hours. You can always trade. There's always volatility charts are always telling you something. There's always the next move, um, but just be careful out there. Use low leverage when you're first starting out. Stop blowing up accounts. We talked about win and loss ratio, leverage, sticking to the script plans. That's it. That's kind of what I want to hit home at today. I want to make this a quick 13, 14, 15 minute video, get it out to you. Just kind of some thought processes that I was having. I just want to get it onto a video. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know, later. They said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. Double only, you know I've been winning. Top of the world, the globe is spinning, spinning. If you know, you know I've been on a what mission? Mission. Okay, let's get it.